Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Star Wars Battlefront 2. The game is currently free for the, I think the next week on uh, Epic Games, so if you want to download it, completely free. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a 2017 game. It's running on Frostbite, so it's well optimized. Honestly, it's running well. I've, I did a couple of tests on my RTX 2070 and my RX 580. Uh, and honestly, the game is really smooth. So we will start with Windows. First thing that you really want to do is remove the game mode. It's causing some issue in this game. So remove the game mode. Um, it, for me, it was causing stuttering and I was losing a couple of FPS with the game mode at on. So important to put this one at off. Xbox game bar, really important to put it at off. And all those capture stuff, background recording and recorded audio at off. Also really important, remove all those overlay that you're currently using, Discord, the Origin one. The Origin one is causing a lot of problem with uh, this game, so make sure that it's disabled. And all the old other like uh, overlay that you're currently using, Nvidia, Discord, whatever. So this is pretty much it. One more thing is the GPU over here, right GPU in your search bar. Open the graphics setting and make sure that the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Uh, first of all, to have this option, you need the latest version of Windows. Also, you need like a, a, one, a 1000 series and more recent uh, to, to have this option. On AMD side, I'm not sure if it's uh, available right now, even on the new RX 6000 series. Not too sure. I think they need to do an update on their driver to, to have this. So important to put this one at on. And after that, you will need to restart your computer to make sure that it's applied. One more thing is the driver. Make sure that you have your latest driver. So if you have AMD, NVIDIA, make sure that you do your update. And even Intel, don't use the... Um, Search for driver from Windows, go on the Intel website, download the latest one. If you have like an integrated GPU on your CPU, uh, really important to have that. So now let's start in the game. Let's go in the game. So in the game, go in the option, video, and this is pretty much where you want to go. So first of all, the full screen mode, really important, play this one at full screen. Borderless, I was losing 2-3% to in my FPS, so really important, the full screen. Uh, after that, the resolution, me, I always use my native resolution, so if your monitor is 1080p, go with 1080p, 2K, whatever that you're currently using. And my refresh rate, make sure that your refresh rate is matching your monitor. So if you have 100, 144 hertz monitor, you should see 144 hertz here. I see a lot of people that they are playing at 60 when they have like a 144 hertz screen and they didn't even know. So really important to do that. For the high dynamic range, so the HDR, don't use auto. Make sure that you're playing at off, except if you really want like HDR because I don't know, you're playing <clears throat> the solo mode and you, you really want this effect. Uh, for DirectX 12, use DirectX 11. So put this one at off, really important. I was losing like 8 to 10% of FPS on my RTX 2070 when I was using DirectX 12. And uh, on my AMD car, I was losing like six percent so it, it it's not that great honestly it's not well optimized direct x12 so just play 11 and you will have more fps vertical sync i'm not using it i don't want any input lag and i'm not getting any tearing when i play this game so i just stay at off field of view it's a bit weird in this game i think it by default it's 55 so it's a preference thing me i always play my game at 90 so that's why i'm putting 90 over there Motion blur, you don't want to use that, except maybe if you like the effect, but normally when you play a multiplayer FPS game, just put this one at zero, really important. Also, filmic effect, film grain, and lens distortion, all those three, I'm putting those one at off. I don't want those effects when I play a multiplayer game, and you can gain like 2% in your FPS, but it's not like a huge deal over there. But if you want those effects, you can put those one at on when you're playing the solo game, and when you go multiplayer, just put them at off. Uh, because it's kind of cool when you play the solo and it feels a little bit like a movie. So, um, yeah. Uh, resolution scale, uh, play 100%, so 1 for 1. This is pretty much last resort. Uh, if uh, after all that the, the, the stuff that you change after my guide, you still don't get your objective of FPS, for sure you can lower your resolution scale, but don't go under 90 because after that, your game will look very blurry and you will have like some pixel and stuff like that. So don't go too crazy with this one. 
So now the setting for graphic quality, make sure that you're using custom because we want to custom uh, all those options over there. So let's start with texture quality. If you have four gig and more of VRAM on your video card, you can play ultra and ultra over there. If you have three gig, go with high. If you have two gig, go with medium and less than two gig, go with low. So let's go back to ultra. Uh, lighting quality, I recommend medium for this one. Between low and medium, I didn't see a big difference in my FPS and my uh, lighting was better. But when you go at high and ultra, you will see that it takes a lot of resources. So medium is a good bet over there. Shadow quality, this one is huge. If you compare ultra to low, you can get 10 to 14% boost in your FPS. So really important, this one, put this one at low, you will get a lot of FPS. A lot of people, honestly, will just have to Put the shadow at low and they will be fine with their fps after that effect quality this one is a bit tricky it, you will not necessarily get a lot more fps but it's more you will get a lot a stable fps stabler fps so if you're getting some random drop when you're fighting just lower your effect quality and if you're playing with an integrated video card a laptop something like that go with low it will help you a lot Post-process quality will not give you a lot of FPS, but you want to put this one at low. Uh, you, those, it, they are like some uh, effect that you don't want to use when you're playing a multiplayer, multiplayer game. Motion blur, distortion, depth of field, you don't want to use that, so put this one at low. Mesh quality has a huge impact also on your FPS. If you compare like ultra to low, you can get like 8%, so huge. Uh, depending where you are right now on your uh, objective with your FPS, go with medium or low, but this one is really important. Terrain quality and terrain ground cover is a bit like uh, the lighting. I feel like when you go low, uh, you will not get necessarily a lot of FPS. If you compare with medium and medium, you will get a better image quality. So that's why you should go with medium. Anti-aliasing, you just have two options. You can't really remove it. So go with TAA low and uh, it's not that bad, honestly. Uh, you don't have too much break in line and the, the game doesn't feel like blurry so ta low is a good bet and the last one is the ambient inclusion this one is kind of huge if i compare like advanced o and or even hbao uh, it's a bit like shadow quality you will get a lot of fps so if i compare this one to off uh, i'm getting like five to six percent boost so it's pretty it's huge the game will feel weird without the ambient inclusion. So again, if you're playing like solo, go with HBAO like this. But uh, if you're playing multiplayer and you want to try hard, just like remove it. That's about it, guys. The, ga the game is well optimized. I didn't see an, uh, any issue, even on my RX 580. Uh, it's more like if you try to play this game on an integrated video card or even a laptop because I my, I was looking at my degree and my uh, video card went to 70 degrees. Normally, I, I'm in between 74 and uh, sorry, 64 and 66. So if you're playing uh, on a laptop, I'm pretty sure you will get some throttling if you have like a bad uh, uh, vent. But uh, yeah, just look at that and... Honestly, you should be fine with this guy. The game is running really smooth. It's well optimized and it's pretty fun. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.